So we need eggs. Back here, you may have noticed a lack of eggs on supermarket shelves lately. Well, it could mean that cafe breakfast or brunch will cost you more. Now, a quick scope of some stores put the price of the eggs at about 80 cents to a dollar and five cents each, and some of the shelves were pretty bare. If you're having trouble finding eggs to go with your bacon, well, you're not alone because we are about to be facing a shortage. It's due to a recent ban on battery cages for hens. As we found out, our cafe owners are already feeling the shortage strain. But the SPCA warns people against buying a chicken unless they have the right environment and time to care for the animals. So I'll take a punt and guess that the rest of the world has expensive eggs because of the feed coming out of Ukraine. Um, but food prices in New Zealand are uh, paired up with um, the feed for the chickens and then um, laws that the governments have put in for caged eggs means that you know the demand's gone up so to have the egg prices. And now we're getting about 12 eggs for about $13. So uh, yeah, they're expensive. Uh, laws in New Zealand reckon that you can have up to six chickens in your backyard, doesn't matter where you are. Um, I think it, it varies in regions, but most of the places uh, you, can, you can have up to six chickens in your backyard um, giving you eggs and uh, we've got a pretty big backyard and so we thought um, you know might be uh, a good way to save some money uh, we like eggs in our house a uh, good source of protein so yeah we thought hey let's uh, let's get some chickens uh, over here you'll see uh, a chicken coop now we didn't build that uh, when we bought this property, uh, the previous owner had some chickens and uh, yeah, it was not in a, a great state. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. Um, but we thought, look, the barrier to entry is pretty low if we've already got a chicken coop here and, and some fencing and stuff like that. We've just got to put a little bit of work into it to clean it up. Uh, and so that's what we did and uh, yeah we cleaned it up now we've got some pretty grand plans and you should see Tisha's Pinterest board uh, of a chicken coop that she wants me to build and, and we'll build that soon um, so that we can continue developing this area which is going to be a veggie garden um, but yeah we cleaned it up somewhat uh, so let's check that out now
we're doing here? We were going to try and outfit this old playhouse into the new chicken coop. So where the chickens currently are, we want to move them because that's where we want the veggie garden and we were going to redo this, put some new play on it, figure it out, but we've just started ripping it apart and half of it's rotten and it's all very flimsy. So we've just decided we're just going to toss it and we'll start afresh. Yep. Aaron's got some good ideas of what he wants and yeah, we thought we could make it work, but not with half of it rotten. So we're just starting in. Check this out. And show them. Yeah, very dead. Yeah, very, very dead. I'm sure. They're the neighbors doing, <laughs> doing something uh, with the dog and some cows in the truck. So yeah, as Tish said, this is um, not looking good. It's pretty flimsy. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get rid of it. I tried to push it and our idea is that we're going to flip it like that onto the trailer. Should we attach the trailer to a car? I mean, it might be a good idea. <laughs> it's going to... It might. Yeah. And then we're going to build another chicken house. Is that a good idea, Millie? Yep, she thinks it's good. Let's do it. tidied it all up we've got chicken curb hopefully get some grass growing Aaron's been putting a lot of effort into it there is baby grass there as much as he comes out and Go. tries to watch it grow um, so yeah we started off we've got three chickens started off with three chickens so, so what breed are these chickens Willow? Light Sussex and what are Light Sussex good at? Flapping the wings Yep. Do they fly super high? No, because they're super heavy. Why are they heavy? Um, Is it because they're big? Yeah. Okay. So we cleaned this up. We got three chickens. Yep. Uh, happy days, right? Yeah, happy days. So good. <laughs> or not good. Why would I be, um, why would I be disappointed in these three chickens? I don't know. They're beautiful birds. <laughs> so beautiful. So pretty. They're talking all the time. They're not smelly. They have, yeah. They're just not laying any eggs. <laughs> yeah. And what's the, what's the use of, um, of a chicken without an egg? That's too old to eat. It's a great question. Hmm. So you did some research, Tish. Yeah. What was the research you found out that uh, that you figured out why they potentially are not laying? <laughs> I figured out that around the winter, chickens will usually take a little break and stop laying. Um, however, nearly always around two years old, they will do a molt where all their feathers fall out and they really do not lay eggs. So we brought two year old chickens not knowing that they were about to come into a molt <laughs> and mm. they've been shedding feathers everywhere <laughs> and not laying eggs. Yep. <laughs> so apparently they'll start around August again. Yep. And we also figured out that they need calcium mm, because the eggs are high in calcium, obviously the shell is almost pure calcium right yeah. yep and we didn't really know that and so you started feeding them calcium how do they get their calcium they feed the eggs shells back to them yeah <laughs> so we've got oyster grit but apparently you could just like this yeah lots of learning every time we use an egg we clean it out put it in the oven bake it for like five minutes um and then you just crunch it all up and feed it back to the chickens it feels weird it's like feeding chicken to a chicken. Pretty self-sufficient things, really. Yeah. Um, so we did that, 
still nothing. When they when they started um, molting, then we kind of figured out, ah, oh, okay, sweet. Then uh, they're probably not going to give us eggs for a little while now. So we bit the bullet, and what did we do? <laughs> we got three more chickens. <laughs> So one of the white chickens stopped fighting over the goldens. That was a funny part. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Willie. So what buff or pinkins? Well done, you're going to be a chicken expert, aren't you? Yeah, I am. And what are their names, Willow? Do you, do you... Nugget, Cinnamon, and Ginger Nut. That's right. <laughs> and all of the golden chickens are just very new and they're just frightened. Yeah, we're not actually sure which one is which. Um, because they all, the, they all look pretty much identical. I know what one sparkled the middle. Which one's this one? Do we know what one this one is? Hmm. Maybe that one's ginger nut? Uh, they are pullets, which is the equivalent of like a teenager for a chicken. They aren't quite hens because they haven't started laying eggs yet. So they were born in October, they are ready to lay any day apparently. Um, and pullets will lay through their first winter most of the time. So we've got them as little teenager chickens and yeah, hopefully they lay some eggs soon. So now we have six chickens and um, it's a bit of fun. And until yesterday, we hadn't had an egg. But what did we have yesterday? We had our first egg yesterday. I'm gonna go and get it. Um, I don't think you're gonna find it, Willow, because Mum made it. Oh, maybe the shell. I'm just gonna go get the shell. So yeah, that's um, those are our chickens. That's where we're at with that. And um, we are going to build another chicken coop. As I said, Tisha's Pinterest board is um, filling up of uh, things for us to build. Um, and so basically, right here. Um, let me just, we want to, uh, so the chicken coop's there, we want to put a veggie garden sort of here, so we're going to move this here and build a nice big one. Um, so yeah, we're just growing a little bit of grass on it right now and um, we'll get to it soon. Chickens just laid our first egg and mum just ate it up. So we're hoping they would lay some more Hobbing. eggs for Hobbing. us. Hobbing. So we can keep on having eggs for breakfast. <laughs> that is a good story of my of my chicken egg. Now bye guys! Lily, you say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <gasps> Lily, look at the camera. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. You say subscribe. Dad. Say like. Dad. And subscribe. Dad. Good job. <laughs> Funny face. Wacky face. <laughs> <laughs>